Today's stage profile is indicated as completely flat, but the thing is, it isn't. There's a few meters of topographic change, and that may not sound like much, but here in the Netherlands, that makes all the difference, especially when the river level is a few meters higher than the land. And that is the story of the Dutch landscape. The Netherlands is an estuary where rivers meet the sea and both take turns in flooding the land. And as a result, this region here consisted of lakes and marshes. They've been turned into really fertile ground by making the land dry and making polders. And that's what we've done here in the Oblast of Art polder. It's surrounded by dikes and already since the 14th century we've been pumping the water out and since the 1700s by using these windmills, the icons of the Dutch landscape. Now the ground here consists of peat, and peat acts like a bit of a sponge, and that requires a fine balancing act. On the one hand, we have to make sure that it contains enough water for dry periods, but on the other hand, it has to have a buffering capacity for the wet periods. Because everything that rains down here cannot flow out to the ocean, we have to pump it away. And what's more is that if you lower the groundwater level, the peat will start to rot, and the land will subside. And as soon as it does that, we have to lower the groundwater even further and it'll subside further and this way we can make a meter or so of land subsidence per century. So there's no such thing as making a polder and walking away. It requires constant management and decision making. For a thousand years and up to this day the Dutch democratically elect water boards and they sit around the table with local and regional government with farmers, with environmental agencies, to reach consensus among groups with very different perspectives. That has become known as polar politics and is one of the cornerstones of Dutch culture and society. And so is riding a bike through a polar, which is about as Dutch as it gets, even if you call it a Tour de France. Hi, I'm Marie-Laine Nordier, and I hope you've been enjoying these videos of the geology of the Tour de France Femme. We really enjoyed making them for you. There's more where that came from, but we can't do it without viewer support. So please consider clicking on the link, making a donation, and we really hope to see you again next year.